If you wanna get people to trust you on LinkedIn and actually want to do business with you, then you need to build your thought leadership. And the best way to build your thought leadership is by posting valuable content. Of course, you cannot neglect relationship building. I feel like that goes without saying. But right now, I am going to show you how you can master the art of content curation to build your thought leadership and not have to worry about posting loads of unique content yourself all the time. So what we wanna do is really leverage other companies and other individuals, including the company you work for, when it comes to posting content on LinkedIn. Of course, when you are comfortable with posting your own unique content, please, by all means, do so. But right now I wanna cover a few key tactics that you can implement right away to start quickly building your authority, your trust, your thought leadership, and driving more business your way via LinkedIn. The first is sharing content directly on LinkedIn. Now, of course, the algorithm prefers when you post your own native content. However, with that said, there are a lot of benefits of sharing content. The key with sharing content is you wanna add context to that content. You never just wanna share it without anything there. So you need to give context on why you're sharing this piece of content. For example, you can maybe add your favorite quotes from there. Try to add at least 150 words of context, and then you can pull out the key points of that post. You also wanna make sure you are tagging the original author of that post, whether it is a company, a company page, or an individual, you always wanna tag that person or the company page based on who it is that you're sharing. And then you wanna include three to five hashtags. Try to do different hashtags than what the original post had in it. So if the original post had three hashtags, do different hashtags. And then you want to try to elicit engagement. So you want to ask questions from people, ask what people think of it, ask their thoughts, ask their opinions, and really get the dialogue going. But the key when you're sharing content from LinkedIn is to add your own context. The more, the better. If you don't, people are just gonna scroll right on by it and they're not going to stop, not to mention the algorithm loves when you're putting context, when you're sharing content. The second thing is you can have your own unique content from other people's and other companies' content. For example, you can pull out the key points that you love, that you found the most valuable from any content piece across the entire internet, whether it is a blog post, a social media post, a video, it doesn't matter. Pull out the key points post your own version of it, tag the original author in it, and then you can put the link in the comments and send people to that full article. So there are tons of ways that you can master the art of content curation to build up your personal brand and your thought leadership on LinkedIn. You don't have to have your own unique, amazing content all the time. You can literally leverage industry trends, industry news, other thought leaders, your own company, other companies to boost your own brand and thought leadership, not to mention you're going to build deeper relationships with those individuals and those companies because you are sharing their content. So try this out, let me know how it works.